Shalom, gracious and friends. Thank you for joining us at our daily devotional, Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Wai Ching, and I'm serving in Grace Missional Communities. Today, we are reflecting on Numbers chapter 3. Chapter 3 describes the responsibilities and senses of the Levite clans. It also talks about the dedication of the Levites in firstborn redemption. The verse that spoke to me is Numbers 3 verse 6. Call forward the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron, the priest, to serve as his assistants. The Levites were dedicated to God for the service of providing assistance to Aaron, the high priest, by guarding and maintaining the various furnishings of the tabernacle. They also served in various offices of great utility and importance to the religion and morals of the people. The title of my devotional is The Joy of Dedicated Purpose. There is joy when we are dedicated to the purpose that God has called us to. The joy of being dedicated to a purpose is not just an act of dedication. Rather, it is an attitude of dedication and a lifetime of learning. In this way, we can be committed to do His work and His will each and every day of our lives. At 15 years of age, I sought the Lord for a verse which would point me to my purpose on earth. He gave me Luke 4.18, a ministry to proclaim the gospel to the poor, liberty to the captives and the oppressed, the recovery of sight for the blind, and the year of the Lord's favour. The Lord told me to go into the mission field, and I obeyed Him. Cross-cultural communication was very difficult. I had to cope with loneliness and adjust to living in a foreign land. There was the constant danger of sickness, robbery, and political unrest. Not only did the Lord protect me and provide help from the church and the community, He sent good teachers to help me learn the foreign language. When I started speaking their local language, it broke down barriers. There was much joy in preaching God's word, training leaders, and ministering to the sick and the oppressed. I returned to Singapore in 2010 and had the opportunity to minister in prison. A few years later, together with some prison ministry volunteers, we started helping ex-offenders integrate into our church. And today, we even reach out to families of prison inmates. The Lord impressed upon my heart to take up counselling skills so that I can minister more effectively. It was a joy to see some of my counsellees recover well and regain stability. In summary, if we are willing to dedicate ourselves to the word, work, and will of God, we will experience joy. Let us be faithful and dedicated to the purpose God has called us to. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for the joy and privilege of serving you. I pray for my brothers and sisters who are seeking the call of God on their lives. May they be obedient to your voice. I also pray for those who are already serving you in some capacity. May they be faithful and dedicated to their call so that they can experience your joy. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I hope you have been blessed 
by the devotional. Do take some time now to look at the application reflections prepared for you and your family. Have a blessed day ahead. We look forward to seeing you soon. Join us again at Grace every morning.